And let's be real about this. It's insane that we haven't raised the retirement age in the United States. It's totally crazy. Joe Biden, if that were the case, Joe Biden should not be running for president. Hey, Joe Biden is 81 years old. The retirement age in the United States at which you start to receive Social Security and you are eligible for Medicare is 65. Frankly, I think retirement itself is a stupid idea unless you have some sort of health problem. Everybody that I know who is who is elderly, who has retired, is dead within five years. Work until you die might not be the official slogan of Republican like political campaigns or just conservative political campaigns, but make no mistake, this is what they all think. And Ben Shapiro has done us the favor of just showing everyone this is literally what all conservative elites think. They think, yeah, um, retirement is too low. You don't deserve a pension from the government. You don't deserve the government to provide you care in old age. No, basically, uh, work until you die to make profit for corporations and other rich people. Now, I want this video to kind of serve as a video about why you shouldn't support capitalism. And some conservatives might be clicking on this wondering like, oh, you know, how can you link this to capitalism? And it's actually pretty easy. It's pretty easy because we shouldn't tie up the care for the elderly with profits for corporations. Now, you guys might be saying, well, we have social security, we have state pensions in the UK, which we do. But a state pension is not enough to live in, especially now. I was talking to my dad um, before I made this video and I was asking, what does my grandma get? She's 93, nearly 94, and he says she gets £12,000 a year from the government for her state pension. And she gets a little more for other benefits because, you know, she's a widow. She has movement problems, of course, because she is in nearly her mid-90s. But it's still not that much. Now, she's lucky. She owns her own home. And that is something that is way more common with older people like her. But something that won't be as common when our generation hit their 80s and 90s. So while my grandma might be getting by with the 12,000 a year state pension and some other things, she's working class, working class like all her life, doesn't have any private pensions, doesn't have any company pensions, that's all she has. And a lot of us will also only have that. And conservatives don't even want us to have that anymore. They don't even want us to have a period of life where we don't work, and we get money because we paid into this system for like 50 years, so we deserve that money. No, work until you die. And I was also watching a video today about Japan, obviously has the oldest population in the world. And I was watching this video from a news agency about a taxi company, and the guy in the video was 78 years old, and he wasn't even the oldest person working at this taxi company. And he says in Japan, you know, they feel like some sort of obligation sometimes to work, sometimes some loyalty to a company, they don't want to be perceived as people who have no value to society. And again, that's capitalist brainwashing, isn't it? And capitalist realism plays so much into this in how we view elderly people, how we view paying for their care, how we view state pensions, social security. It's all this capitalist mindset of, well, if you are not generating profit, you're worthless to society. And that's something that Ben Shapiro in this clip that's going viral basically says. You know, if you are healthy enough and you're 70, then you should be working. They cannot imagine any other purpose for you outside of that. Like, if you are in your 70s, maybe you have grandchildren. Wouldn't it be nice to spend more time with them? Maybe you just want to travel the world. I know when I went traveling, I went to Vietnam. Then I went to that Coochie Tunnels, the famous tourist spot. The guy in my group, he was like in his 70s. And he was like a former US veteran who was exploring the world. And even then, he still had, like, a cage on his, like, knee to help him walk and stuff. And I was even thinking then, our system is so backwards in that you have to wait until this age to actually go and do what you want with your spare time. And that's kind of, like, a different conversation. But today, I really want to focus on Ben Shapiro. But also, here's another thing that's interesting. A lot of average people who are conservatives in his comments and on Reddit, in the conservative subreddit, are saying he's an idiot for saying this. Which kind of, like, blows my mind because... Yeah, you might not like what he's saying, but nearly your whole ideology leads to this way of thinking. And that's what I'm trying to say. If you are conservative and watching this, maybe consider being anti-capitalist. Because if you think what he's saying is bad, then you really shouldn't be following and promoting people who believe in this version of neoliberal capitalism, where your whole life is about 
generating profit for like the 1% or generating revenue for people like Ben Shapiro who own these companies. People like Ben Shapiro who've hardly worked an honest day in their lives are telling you, work until you die. And that should be a wake up call for you because they're not pretending anymore, they are telling you. No matter what you believe on nearly every single other issue in terms of culture war stuff, in terms of anything you believe against leftists, you should realize that we want freedom and we want you to enjoy your life as much as possible. And that includes supporting things that would support elderly people to not have to worry about basic necessities and what they're gonna do in their older. If they haven't had the luxury of getting like a private pension and giving money to funds that gamble their money on like the global market and stuff. Anyway, all of that coming up for you today. Follow me on social media at The Cavernacle, mainly on Instagram with my travel and my personal account. Also now on Freds and Blue Sky, I'm abandoning Twitter. I don't really want to use it anymore. And if you want to support my work, talking about money, check out my Patreon and you can get access to the Discord server. So you've probably seen this clip already. I'm just going to watch it and give my reaction. He has done a bit of follow-up the day after, so I want to talk about that as well. But this is Ben Shapiro perfectly articulating basically the conservative and just generally capitalist view on retirement and how long you should work. And let's be real about this. It's insane that we haven't raised the retirement age in the United States. It's totally crazy. Joe Biden, if that were the case, Joe Biden should not be running for president. Hey, Joe Biden is 81 years old. The retirement age in the United States, at which you start to receive so social security and you are eligible for Medicare, is 65. Joe Biden has technically been eligible for social security and Medicare for 16 years, and he wants to continue in office until he is 86, which is 19 years, past when he would be eligible for retirement. No one in the United States should be retiring at 65 years old. Frankly, I think retirement itself is a stupid idea unless you have some sort of health problem. Everybody that I know who is, who is elderly, who has retired, is dead within five years. And if you talk to people who are elderly and they lose their purpose in life by losing their job and they stop working, things go to hell in a handbasket real quick. But put all of that aside, just on a fiscal level and on a logical level. When Franklin Delano Roosevelt established 65 as the retirement age, the average life expectancy in the United States was 63 years old. Today, the average life expectancy in the United States is close to 80. It's totally insane that you believe that you should be able to work from the time that you are essentially 20 to the time that you are 65, which is a 45-year period, pay in, and then you will receive Social Security benefits sufficient to support you and your family, you and your wife or whatever, for like another 20 years. That's crazy talk. That is not fiscally sustainable. The notion that if you have to raise the retirement age to 67 or 68, that everyone is going to fall apart. My parents are that age. My parents are not retired. And they shouldn't retire. It would be very bad for them to retire. By the way, it's disrespectful to people who are 67, 68, 69 years old to suggest that they are in the same shape as people who are 65 were in 1940. It's not true at all. Have you met a 65-year-old lately? 65-year-olds are not old in the United States. They're not. 68-year-olds are not old in the United States. Again, Joe Biden thinks he's not old, and that dude is running for president again, and that dude actually is old, and he's 81. I, I failed to see how a country in which our entire leadership class is 80-plus is telling you that we should have a retirement age of 65. It makes no sense at all. So there's a lot going on with that rant, which is just terrible, and rightly got dunked on by everyone. And it's just insane to me he judges this all by health. Like, yeah, people used to live shorter lives, you also don't want to make your whole life about working. So if you work 45 years, you should be able to enjoy your supposed golden years without grinding yourself to the bone. And obviously this comes from an you know, incredibly privileged position of Ben Shapiro, where what is his job? Write a shitty book here and there, do some shitty TV show, make a podcast where you're not even editing any of this. You just stand behind a mic every day and rant for like an hour. Not every day, it's probably like four days a week. So how much do you actually work? And when you're doing that, it's probably pretty easy to imagine that you can do that forever if you want. Like with me personally in this job, how long can I do it for? I could do it as an elderly person, especially if I start hiring people to like do most of the work for me. Of course I could work at 80 years old if everything's going you know fine health-wise and Let's clarify, he does specify health-wise, but he's pretty vague about that. Like, what does that even mean in this context? Like, health problems. And again, the privileged position. Lots of people who do manual labor jobs 
like in the UK, for example, you might do an apprenticeship instead of education post 16 years old. So from 16 years old, you can be working in like manual labor intensive jobs until retirement age. And you might have a private pension, but you might just have a state pension. And Ben Shapiro here is telling you that um, because technically people live now till 80, you should be grinding yourself to dust by that time. And I know people who've done manual labor jobs for a long time, have lots of physical injuries, have lots of wear and tear, they wouldn't be classified as having health problems or be technically disabled. Like sure, in theory, if they went to a doctor, he might say, yeah, you're actually not that bad. But again, if you're doing this for 40 years, manual labor, your body is gonna be pretty much screwed. So again, the privileged position of, well, I know people who are old, like my parents, and they're not retired. Yeah, what do your parents do? Probably similar shit to you, jobs that aren't like physically really, really demanding. But also the way he frames it is basically like your whole purpose in life is just the work and he knows people who've retired and then they're dead in five years. Well, Ben Shapiro, I wish they retired earlier so they didn't die nearly straight after they retired. I have family members who've died before retirement. I've had family members who've died just after they retired. So my granddad died when I was like three years old. I think he'd only been retired for like a couple years. He was going to retire to Ireland with my grandma and basically a couple months before they were going to move, he had a massive stroke and he died. So he didn't even get to enjoy it. Do you know what his life's purpose would have been? To live in peace and quiet with my grandma who is still alive, that would have been like another 20 years, they could have enjoyed their lives, you know, looked after their grandchildren, great grandchildren, which they have like insane numbers of, right? So that could have been their purpose in life. They could have helped their grandkids, they could have taught their grandkids things and just having elderly people. Like why do we not respect elderly people for just being like human beings? Like it's like, oh, did you generate profit for someone today? Oh, actually you're worthless. And that's one thing of Western neoliberal society we're so terrible at, we're so terrible at respecting elderly people. Now I'm not saying respect in a way that you think all elderly people are amazing, we should listen to them. It's that not thinking of them as disposable and can you just die already because you're a drain on the NHS, you're a drain on the state pensions and social security. The way we view it is so warped compared to other cultures which actually look after their elderly family better and just look after their own better. And this distilled is just such a toxic way which conservatives, but just general capitalists, view it. It's all about the fiscal thing. It's not fiscally responsible to pay social security at 65. And can I just say one more thing? The fact Americans say this, when the US government spends untold billions on their military, and they're talking about as an argument about fiscal responsibility when it comes to looking after elderly people, it's just insane to me. And one more thing I haven't really spoke about is there is that social contract that we've all been told by capitalists that you work hard. You work hard and you pay your taxes. Part of your taxes, and I know it's different for different countries, will go into the system. Therefore, when you get older, the system will give you the money back and hopefully a bit more than you paid in as this reward for being a good citizen who then can enjoy the later years of their life in comfort and peace and just kind of like prison, capitalism is a prison after all, they've done their time. So here's some freedom relatively. And like I said, the current entitlements they're called, the current state pension is not gonna be enough for people. 12,000 a year and you might not even own your own home. How is that gonna be enough for anyone in the UK, for example? Loads of people are gonna be living in like poverty, which will force them back into work, like in many places already where older people are working, but to Ben Shapiro, that's people's dream. We wanna have more 85 year olds working at construction sites. We want more 85 year old cab drivers. We want more 85 year old people working in the service industry. Do we really want that? Ben Shapiro definitely wants that. Now to just follow on, he did you know, start coping a bit with this and he made a follow up episode, which I'm not gonna play you too much of. And then he goes on to say, we are taking out trillions of dollars in debt to fund people retiring from work who are not somehow unable to work. That was the point I was making that many of the people that we're paying to not work right now are 65 years old. Then he pivots saying you should be able to keep your own money and plan for retirement yourself. His way of thinking can only be done by a rich person who doesn't work a real job. And I'm saying that as someone who doesn't work a real job myself. So he was coping on Twitter. I got these screenshots from Blue Sky. 
Um, I'm amazed by the number of people who simultaneously argue that work is generally personally valuable and purposeful and then argue that it's somehow elitist to say that it's valuable and purposeful for people who are over 65 plus two. People aren't saying that. People are saying the fact you can't retire before that, which you said and you want to and you want to implement, that's the bad thing. That's why they're having riots in France recently and like 3 million people on the streets because of people like you. Also, there's almost 100% crossover between people stunned and upset I'm arguing against retirement at 65 and those arguing Joe Biden should be president of the US at 86. The simple fact of the matter is that America will have to raise the retirement age because economics exist. Your choices are massive tax increases on the middle class like Europe and raising the retirement age. There is no third choice. I don't think anyone is making the argument when you're 65, you must stop working. No one is saying that. And actually, something I've been talking about recently with my girlfriend is I'm actually finding it quite inspiring how older people, particularly in like the creative arts and stuff, they've still been working. Like Ridley Scott is like an absolute inspiration. How that guy is in his mid 80s and is still pumping out movies, no matter what you think of them, is just absolutely insane to me. This guy has been making movies since the 70s and he's still going. Loads of actors are still going. Martin Scorsese, Robert De Niro, I respect that. And I know their jobs aren't as like labor intensive, but it's still nice to see older people still being able to do these things. So I support like older people being able to still live their lives and contribute to society or just pursue their passions in like a typical like job format. And even with Joe Biden, I don't think he should personally be president based on like his age because it's very visible. Someone like Bernie Sanders, who's older, it's pretty clear he's still with it. Now, I don't generally support people that old being like the leaders of countries forever because I feel like at some point you got to admit you are out of touch because you come from a completely different era. At the same time, Bernie is better than Biden. It's really a case by case thing. And if Joe Biden was working in like a standard like corporate job, like the CEO of a company, I don't think people would have much of a problem with his age as much as they do when he's like the literal most powerful guy on earth. Ben Shapiro is basically using this argument to deflect from his insanely unpopular position. Basically saying, well, you should feel bad if you argue against me because you're saying that older people can't actually contribute to society no longer because they don't make profit for other people. That's not what we're saying at all. If people want to work past 65 and they actually want to do that, I have no problem with that at all. But people shouldn't be forced to. And with these capitalist economies around the West, people are going to be forced to work past that especially if you kick away the retirement at 65 for people, which isn't even enough already, if you don't have something to supplement it, then yeah, people are gonna have a problem with that. But again, like I said, if you're conservative, you made it this far, you're gonna join other conservatives because most conservatives, your average Joe, they think this is dumb as well. So I went on the conservative subreddit, which is funny now they changed their picture to, to Donald Trump. They post a Ben Shapiro take and someone's saying, I don't care what Ben thinks. I love not going to work, five years retired and very happy not working at all. Maybe we'd all feel different if we were podcasters. I like what I do, but never once did I wake up on a day off and wish I was going to work. This has to be one of his worst takes yet. Mr. Shapiro really needs to get out and spend some time doing some blue collar jobs that are physically taxing. He needs to go and be an air conditioning repairman in Houston and climb into attics and repair installed ducts or replace furnace blowers. Do that in July for a week. Guy literally makes YouTube videos and makes millions yet tells others to work their entire life. I like Ben, but this is genuinely an asinine opinion. We're not made to work our entire lives. Work to live, don't live to work. Spoken by somebody who has a job that lets him stroke his ego all day long. Retirement is a financial position, not an age. As soon as I don't have to work anymore, I'm out. We should strive to get back to the retirement age of 55 as a country. Almost everyone in my family has died before reaching 70. Please, Mr. Millionaire, tell me why the short order cook, the factory seamstress, the factory line worker, the McDonald's employee, none of whom have ever took a real vacation, should not have the chance to relax a bit before they kill over. I work and save now so that I can enjoy some free time before I die. So why I included all those comments from self-described conservatives is to point out how crazy it is you support conservative candidates. Like I'm not telling you you must go vote for Joe Biden because it's not that I think he's amazing on this issue or whatever. It's that there are no conservatives in the conservative elite, politicians or otherwise, that actually agree with what you're saying there. I agree with a lot of what you're saying. A lot of liberal people, left-wing people, I agree with you. But 
Conservative capitalists don't think like that. They don't see you as people. They think you should work till you die. Because if you don't have any value to society in terms of generating profit for people, then what good are you? Since the birth of neoliberalism in the 70s, the mask has just completely come off. They're not pretending anymore. People used to say, and capitalists used to say, that, you know, you work hard, you pay your taxes, you get rewarded at the end so you can enjoy old age. They're not saying that anymore because they've never really believed it. Now he feels comfortable to put out this argument. And don't worry, we'll be seeing this a lot. And we're seeing it anyway. You know, with France, they're raising the retirement age. I've been reading a lot about the UK. They want to raise it as well. Japan is like a little glimpse of the future where we're going to have loads of elderly people working because they can't actually afford to retire. But that is the future that capitalists want for all of us. So conservatives, please, if you actually believe this and you disagree with Ben Shapiro's take, you shouldn't support conservative candidates because they all think like this. Even though they don't say it, and even though they think it'd be like politically untenable to say something like this and campaign on this, a lot of conservatives in the background have been talking about this for a long, long time. I love what I do on YouTube. When I used to work a corporate job, I would literally rather stare at a wall for eight hours a day than do that job. The thought of me wanting to do that, like for 45 years, and then get to retirement and be like, now nah, I still wanna do that is insane. And to most people, even conservatives, that is insane. But again, the people who control our society, that's not insane. But anyway, that is it for the video. That is conservatives showing you their ugly cactus face. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching.